Lenny building up that neck strength. Suck on that 10 inch tranny dick. He could really lick a good asshole with that neck muscle like that. <laughs> Make him laugh, he'll snap his neck. Hey, you're getting up much better now that you lost the weight. Where's the harness? Are you, you done with that? So Jay, this is about, you really only need to worry about lifting 230, right? As long as you can throw 230 around, you'd be set. This might be a little much. I'm working on incline today for punching power. <laughs> Donkey punching? Uh, Freudian, Freudian slip. <laughs> no Freudian slip here. It's been two days, no response over the podcast. I heard our friend has hopped on an airplane to go to Los Angeles for a bodybuilding show when he knew I was in town looking for a brawl. You'll be here for a while. You'll be here when he gets back. Maybe he wants to meet us at the Del Rey LA. Monday morning, 6 a.m., buddy. Looking for that Ferrari. <laughs> Leonard doesn't know what to look at today. You're scanning the whole building. This is this is new blood for you. He's on so much Letrozole, his dick won't work anyway. Your dick doesn't work on that shit? No, mine's not working good either. No fun about no pre-workout. Letro lowers your estrogen so low that... Um, can he borrow your fucking toothbrush, please? My breath's that bad? Your breath's real fucking bad. It's worse than Jason's. I had uh, Parmesan garlic wings last night and didn't brush my teeth. Oh, you can smell it. Dude, Parmesan garlic is my new wing sauce. That's good shit. Yeah? I'll have to try it. Lenny, give me a lift I'll off. give you a good recipe. Maybe Lenny will suckle on those tits today. All right, that's one, two, three. Ugh. Full Lenny rep. Bouncing nicely. <laughs> I'll be like walking into a telephone, lizard boy. We're <laughs> filming. Let's see you get one good rep. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Philip Drew Braun, reptile boy. <laughs> Problem is, this is 80 above his body weight. <laughs> this okay. is less than my body weight. I'm 340. I can sit that? on people. Add weight to that, and you're fighting this versus PJ's like adding a plate to this. You know. Sickening math skills. That's the way I looked at it, yeah. <laughs> so 80, 80 pounds, so you could throw him around. So Jay could rep PJ on the military for reps. He could rep him. Gorilla press PJ and throw him across him. He can clean and jerk him, right? Yeah, easily. Oh, I can jerk him. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at Brad. Do it for the do it for the butterheads. Do it for all the butterheads out there, Jack. Butter bean doing it for the butterheads. Inclines for punching power. You ready? One, two, three. Like nothing. Shit. Good work. That's no uh, Brad Castleberry fake weight faggot shit either. Anybody want that in their face? <laughs> Lenny would want it in his ass. It's a man's hand. You gonna throw up now? Your head looks like it's gonna fucking explode. Up, up, and we got some blood. Holy shit, you're bleeding around your ears and everything. Jesus Christ, Jack. <laughs> what the fuck? So what's one of his piddly punches gonna do to that? 
Huh, and a little blood back there. Okay, he's getting done for himself. That was that. a massive PR. That's great, man. See? Lenny got a little too close on that six rep with his hands. Nah, that was all you. Your PR made you fucking bleed. What do you think about that, Leonard? As I can say That's is, real shit. Have you ever seen you, that before? <laughs> when you go through that, what's a 230 pounder going to do for you in a fight? That's like, bring it on. You know? It's a cakewalk. I think my gums are bleeding too. <laughs> you need to give him some hygiene tips, Leonard. You smell, but your breath isn't disgusting like his. Oof. You just walked through a waff of shit. Did that get you erect? Very impressive. Yeah, good growth sets. Very impressive. Not since the days of Andrew Kalor have I seen that kind of weight move on an incline. He might even have skid marks in his pants. Jesus Christ, man. Go get a fucking towel and wipe yourself I'm not afraid of bleeding, lizard boy. <laughs> you and your pretty pink fucking sport coat, your yellow snake around your neck. I'm gonna make you eat that snake. <laughs> so that's it. You did four sets of incline, finished for the day. Yeah, that was such a massive BR. There is nothing I can do the rest of the day that'll even come close to that kind of intensity. So just shut it down, start the recovery process, start thinking about lunch with my dear mother. She's buying. Um, Oh, I'm coming too. I like your mother. <laughs> um, but I was just. I, I think I'd still back. How old is your mother? 67. Um, I was just explaining to Brad. I'd bang her. I saw her old, her younger pictures. Holy shit! In, in a perfect world. Hold on, I gotta cover my nose. You should. Your first exercise for, for your body part. Should, you should alternate. It should be different every workout. See, I did. I skipped my flat bench today to try and get an incline on the PR. So my next workout, I'm going to do it flat bench first. Um, West, I, and I got that philosophy from Westside Barbell, the powerlifting mecca of the world in Columbus, Ohio. Louis Simmons says, never, That's, that's ever, one of Leonard Zell's all-time favorites, Louis Simmons. Never, ever do the same exercise first two workouts in a row. Because you're never going to grow that way. Your body's already adapted. So how often do you do chest? Once a week? I do chest. I can go heavy on chest every seven days. I've tried to go heavy on six days and it never works out. You can go chest heavy every seven days. And if you need to do a second workout, you can sneak a light one in 72 hours after your heavy one. That's basically three days. Like a Monday, Thursday. Uh -huh. Thursday would be the light day so that Sunday you would get that extra day of recovery before your heavy day. That's the way people used to do it before people started doing one body part once a week. Is that, is that, now that's for powerlifting or both or anything? Well, powerlifters generally do more training sessions per body part per week. Like bodybuilders are not gonna bench press twice a week, powerlifters are. Because bodybuilders are going to really destroy that tissue. Okay, well that's what I'm asking. You yeah. do, so then you do a powerlifting workout regimen. Yeah, I'd like to get in that second workout and go light. Like, like maybe today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like Monday, I might come in a flat bench and just do 315 for 20. Get a good pump. Not take and that's your entire workout? Well, I'll do some other dingleberry shit like hammer strength military, some tricep push downs with cables. Just bullshit. Heavy light, heavy light. Train your power movements twice a week on a heavy light. With the exception of the deadlift. Deadlift should only do, be done once a week. What's your input? What's your regimen? I just learned valuable information. The you may actually take heart, especially at your youthful age. You could be a real beast. See, like Lenny, if he really wanted to work on his symmetry, he could do legs twice a week, heavy light, like a Monday, Thursday. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about trying that on February 1st. Like, Lenny should always do his heavy day on legs, his day off from work, which is what, Monday, Tuesday? Yeah. 
Right, like I would, I would, Lenny should do heavy legs Monday, because then he has Tuesday, the day off, to not be on his feet. So if he did heavy legs Monday, he could come back 72 hours later and do a real easy workout for legs on Thursday and just get blood flow. You're basically just doing an active recovery, trying to get circulation through that sore tissue, get out the damaged tissue, bring in nutrients to rebuild the new tissue. Repair and recovery. It's basically an active rest day. The Serbians and Bulgarians, I believe, they're big on active rest. Active rest days are awesome for strength. To a bodybuilder, it's basically worthless because they'd rather not train that day and then come back seven days later and just destroy the tissue. But in some cases, Ronnie Coleman is destroying it twice a week. And what's what's the what's the ideal stack to take? For what? For both. Are you talking about anabolics? Yes, of course. What else? I'm not going to ask you about fucking fart powder um, and goddamn caffeine powder and fart powder. That's all that garbage is. I think if a, if a person is young, has good cardiovascular health, I think nothing beats test, trend, and anadrol. I mean, what, what else could? Starting at what age? 14. <laughs> You guys are out of your fucking mind. When, when did you first take the shit? Stop hiding behind the weight, you asshole. I'm gonna hide behind a 10 pound plate. Yeah. <laughs> I know, you your head's bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start? When was your first cycle? Um, 18 years old, I did a massive cycle. Yeah? Didn't fuck you up in any way? Um, I beat up a lot of women. <laughs> raped a few. <laughs> but none of them come forward. But I haven't run for political office yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you like the girls that like to take a beating, huh? I like a woman that can take a good punch. <laughs> Shows character. I also like a woman who was taught how to pleasure a man by her father. Because then you know she knows how to do it right. <laughs> you are a sick motherfucker. And you're laughing because you probably agree. Hey, it's not going to kill anybody. Just education, that's all. What's hands-on education? That's not different. No, and that's good punishment for the wife, too. Yeah. To watch the husband having sex with the daughter. When the wife is bad, you give her a spanking and make her watch. Just for having those thoughts, you should be fucking executed. It's been done. You it's should been be, done. Many it's been done, but doesn't mean it's right, you fucking idiot. Well, what is right there, Mr. Moralist? <laughs> I'm not a moralist, moralist. but you know the difference worker. between right and wrong. What you can go to jail for is wrong. I'm worried about going part. to hell, not jail. No, there's <laughs> things that are legal that are wrong. That's true. That's true. Uh, I feel great despite the blood pouring out of every orifice in my body. You're a nasty fuck. My hemorrhoid probably looks like a plum. We've heard that before. <laughs> so when a fellow, when a fellow bodybuilder dies, the first thing Leonard has to ask is, he should have got his stash. Well, you gotta do that to protect his reputation from his family. So who's gonna run in the house and get all his shit? Might be. <laughs> you would need a biohazard suit to retrieve Lenny's stash. Yeah, big Paul, rest in peace. He's another good quality guy. When did he die? He passed a month ago. No, well, when did he die? About a month ago. A month he was ago. in a Misfit video, briefly, he a still tall with veins. He's an ex New Jersey cop. He's a motorcycle cop. Remember, he came out to you talking about clothes? Oh, the old guy. No. Oh. He was 47. Yeah. Remember well, that, Paul? Remember yeah. he was talking about growth and he said growth sucks for you. Well, Remember he that? He said he yeah. yeah, you can do that. I saw Dr. Tony Huge do that. He'd shoot the growth right in his vein. That's a damn shame. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's balls to do that but, shit. But I asked him. Yeah. No, you're not on when I, when I, I did HGH. Yeah, yeah, don't mention names. When I did HGH, First my fingers good. and hands. Look at that, PJ. But my fingers and hands got so swollen on HGH, I couldn't get my hand in this for a scoop of protein. Yeah, yeah, well, probably that his buddy over there. Oh, you, I, I, that's right, I didn't want to say that's his name. That's who I was saying. Yeah. yeah. He, he wasn't him, it was a, a friend of his went in there. He said, he said the place, this smelled, but his body was there for days. Yeah, yeah that's, Charles, the decomposed body is the worst smell ever. He's been coming down here for a while. I yeah. think you continue to defecate. 
Yeah, you, After your, you body, die. your body just empties out everything. Your bladder empties, your colon empties. Oh, we hope we don't have to pull you out of your house after four well, or five I days. Maybe I can go to a tranny's house and be continuously Imagine if defecate. Lenny's colon maybe. Emptied. <laughs> Why don't you get a colonic, an herbal colonic? I heard they're dangerous. No. You probably have 10 pounds what are you of blood. Did you heard they're dangerous? What the fuck yeah, are you that's scared safe? of? <laughs> yeah. Whatever the fuck yeah, you're yeah, drinking you is taser, dangerous. You, you absorb you know, some of overeaters like myself, I've heard you can lose 5 to 10 pounds of undigested meat in your colon. Easily. Just getting a colonoscopy. I'm just no, say, a colonic. Yeah. A colonic. Well, a colonoscopy, they you drink all that shit they give you. Yeah, and you're married to your Ooh, toilet man. for a night. Christina. Christine, that's not Christina, leave her alone. Or you get in trouble, stupid. It's Christina. It's Broccolini. On, it's on all your tapes. Christina Cuntalini. Some B actress that Leonard thinks is a fucking goddess. Look him over there with his mouth washed. Everything I watch is like Christina. <laughs> Dale. That's for you, Dale. 405 for six, I mean. Why don't you go clean yourself up, Jay? There's a locker room here with soap and water. Go ahead. Kim, he kind of made himself. Yeah, that took a lot of guts. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel real safe in an elevator with you two fucking creeps. 340 <laughs> shredded. These are small quarters. Get off the fucking thing Jesus, so it can go down, you jackass. Yeah, I feel really that Paul killing himself. That's real. My boss that guy smoked crack. He did a lot of pain pills. Yeah, I was addicted. When you go off that, you get depressed, I guess. He was in the hospital many times. Like, he'd sit with me if I was eating. It's too bad. Come check out the Subaru. Oh boy. Would you get hydraulics put on it? I'll see the fire hose. Check out the Subaru. Bedroom oh bully riding in style. I won't film your license. license I won't, plate. I won't. Fucking relax. But look, I backed into look the fire you. extinguisher. Look, you got fucking dings on the side. I backed into the fire extinguisher. You stupid fucking... Fucking glass everywhere. You dumb fuck. Holy shit. I backed into this. Are you sure? Yeah, look. You think this is something Blackstone might have? <laughs> no, I backed into this. Oh, nobody Blackstone bashed your window out while we were here? No, it wasn't PJ. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You know, and the thing is, and you and you're a guy that has a fucking CDL. You drive fucking tractor trailer semis, and you can't back shit. in this piece of shit to this fucking spot without hitting that. You know, you this, are a fucking. This mess. fucking rear glass is probably more expensive than this car is worth. Oh yeah. This is a five hundred dollar car. That glass is probably more than five hundred. Good thing we're not getting any rain today. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna clean this shit up or what? Or just drive around with it like that? <laughs> Did you get that on film? Yeah, go ahead, do it again so you get the rest of it out. <laughs> That's how we clean up broken windows. You better get out of here. Look. Look at this fucking mess you just made, you cocksucker. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck them. You didn't do anything wrong. Right, yeah. Dent here. You're like an old woman driving this thing. I think you're just so hyped up to get here and you're just... Where's the fucking duct tape and the mace? For the chloroform. So I got silver duct tape. <laughs> what a shit box. <laughs> hey, on my shit box I have black duct tape and I black... I use duct tape on both of them. On that old Buick I got. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? We're freaks. We don't care right, about expensive cars. Yes. All right, Monday, Delray LA Fitness on Linton and Federal, 6 a.m. Anybody wants to fight me, meet me there. <laughs> He'll sign the papers. No, no papers. Come, come at me, bro. Just come at me, bro. <laughs> I don't do politics. I don't do lawyers. I'm a man. I meet on the streets. I don't arrange a fucking prearranged fucking fight like a fucking fag. There'll be no ring. There'll be no Dana White. Just come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro? You sound like such a cookie-cutter faggot. <laughs> All right. See you, bully.